Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time we have met and I have come with the good news for grade 11 students specifically. I will be starting with grade 11 CBSE literature from today onwards. And if you haven't watched my grade 12, and if you have your elder brother or sister or any of your friends who is currently in grade 12, you can just go to my playlist where I have uploaded English literature, all the videos and all the grammar, writing skills and everything. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it as it motivates me to keep uploading the videos as per your choice as well. So let's get started for today. Today we will be beginning with the first chapter, The Portrait of a Lady, written by Kushran Singh. Let's get started. Now, what is it? What is a, uh, this story behind it? The Portrait of a Lady. As it says, Portrait of a Lady, obviously it's related something to the lady. So let's begin with the chapter. I'll read out the chapter and please request you all also to read out with me so that you understand in a better way. It would be more clearer to you. Okay. Now, what is it? My grandmother, like everybody's grandmother, who's my, who's my uh, grandmother? Author's grandmother. Okay. Was an old woman. She had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that I known her. People said that she had once been young and pretty and had even had a husband but was hard to believe. My grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. He wore a big turban and a loose fitting clothes. His long white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old. He did not look the sort of a person who would have a wife or children. He looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren. Now what is this going? As the start if you can understand over here the author what is he saying as a child he is describing the grandmother and he is saying I have seen my grandmother old and she is old uh, from at least from last 20 years. She, uh, she is like, you know, old only. She is not growing more older than this, nor she has been, you know, better before, before, better as well. So that's what the author is saying. And later on, he is going to his grandfather. He's seeing that I saw the gran uh, grandfather picture, portrait. Okay, like a mental piece means what? Like structure of a wood. Like in drawing room, we keep a wood ki table rakhte hai, and uske upar picture lagate hai, right? Same way. So, unke picture di. Okay, he's no more. But there is a picture. So according to uh, looking at his picture, the author is saying that, uh, you know, he has dressed himself very nice and all that. But looking at him, uh, he feels that he was at least 100 years old. So he cannot have a wife and a children. But yes, he can have lots of grandchildren. That's what the author is trying to say over here. Also, he's saying that my grandmother, like people, you know, you might be knowing today also, some of you might be saying like, you know, your grandmother was very pretty before. She was very pretty. So, obviously, she might be. She is not same as today, right? But same with the author. He's not ready to believe. For him, believing that his grandmother was pretty before, it's not acceptable. He's not ready to accept that. Okay. Now. As for my grandfather being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. He's saying, thinking about my grandmother, young and pretty. The thought is revolting means it's unpleasant. It's not possible for the author to think that his grandmother was also once young and pretty. That seemed quite absurd and undignified, means illogical. And there's nothing like uh, he's feeling that it's, uh, you know, logic. Uh, yeah, it's, there is something right in that. On her part, and we treat it like the fables of prophets she used to tell us. Now, what is she say? Uh, what he's saying? Like thinking that she was young and pretty. 
I never thought that is logical. And when she used to see her stories, like today also your grandmother, uh, grandmothers, grandparents, they used to, it might be saying you the story, right? Like, you know, Hamare Jamani Mein Saath Tha, or showing you the picture, like see how good Ivan I used to look, or your grandfather used to look, right? So same way. Now what he's saying, when she used to see the stories, it was just a story for them. Uh, you know, fables, short story and all that, imaginary story. So that too nothing else she had been short and fat and slightly bent right now he's describing his grandmother her face was crisscross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere no we were certain she had always been we had known for old as terrible old that she could not have grown older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful now what the author is trying to say over here my grandmother she is shut and right now she's a little bit fat also and she's bent also you might be knowing right uh grandparents like quite aged and all you might be seeing people around us as well right you know some of them have bent down means because their bones have not been so stronger as per the age now whenever they walk walk with a stick and they bend down okay the force has gone completely down while walking as well so that's what he is also describing his grandmother so he's saying looking at the condition i can never think that she was pretty so he's saying no way and according to author he's saying that according to me she is as old as us like like from last 20 years it has nothing changed and no one can be older than her she's saying it can it is not possible that she grows more older than this this is the you know limit of growing older so according to the author she is already too older terribly she has grown older and there's no limit to it one cannot grow older than her that's what the author is saying and he's saying that she could never have been pretty. That's for, matlab, for author thinking that is unpleasant. Okay. But she was always beautiful. What does this line mean? This line is really beautiful. I'll tell you. Pretty means what? Pretty means by looks. This face tells you whether you're pretty or not. But your soul, your heart tells you whether you're beautiful or not. That's what the boy is saying for his grandmother that she is never pretty but she is beautiful next she hopped hopped matlab she used to walk awkwardly as i said you she is aged and she used to bend down and walk that's why the child is saying hopped sorry hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand matlab aise, aise, in one hand and resting on a waist this way hand on a waist to balance her stoop and other things the beads of her rosary means you know you might be seeing the grandparents you know uh, wo mala hoti hai. Uh, they do puja part and all that so this way she used to go and in one hand she used to have that rosary okay now what uh, next is what her silver locks were scattered means hairs you're talking about untidily over her pale puckered face means in a wrinkle se aise ho chuka tha face okay and her lips constantly moved in inaudible okay like prayer like for example the grandmother is walking this way and she's doing this way matlab it is not audible to anyone this way she is praying as well while walking yes she was beautiful but still according to the author obviously she was beautiful though she was not pretty she was like the winter landscape in the mountain as expense of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment what a beautiful explanation to give the beautifulness of her grandmother the author is saying though she was not pretty but she was as beautiful you know whenever you go to mountains and you see you no know, landscape and all that and you feel wow that is comparing that time you breathe right and you feel so calm at such place that is known as over here the meaning as well looking at her we feel like she's very beautiful why because her soul is beautiful that's what the author is trying to say my grandmother and i were good friends 
My parents left me with her when they live when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together. Now author and the grandmother were living together uh, while the parents were settling in the city. She used to wake me up in the morning, get me food re get me ready for school. She said her morning prayer in a monotonous sing song. Means roj ka jo daily work hota hai, daily way mein wo jo bolte the wohi way mein, okay? While she bathed me and dressed me in the hope that I would listen and get to know it by heart. I listened because I loved her voice but never bothered to learn it. Means you know now we are being attached to our grandparents so we listen to them. All the matlab, same it was with the author. He used to listen but he used to not buy a heart those prayers and she was having that hope that one day he will be able to buy a heart those prayers. Then she would fetch, take me, my golden, uh, sorry, my wooden slate, which she had already washed and plastered with a yellow chalk, a tiny earthen in pot and a red pen. Tie them in a bundle and hand it to me. Means obviously he's going to the school. So slate and all, suppose they the slate, ink, chalk and everything he used to give, she used to give it to him. After a breakfast of thick, Okay, steel chapati. Steel chapati means no more fresh. With a little butter and a sugar spread on it, we went to school. She carried several steel chapatis with her for the village dogs. Now, if you remember, today also uh, there are lots of chapatis cook at a place. And uh, what we do is we eat it for breakfast. And we really love eating that, uh, you know, chapatis for the breakfast as well. Though it is our previous day, but we prefer to eat it with a char, with chutney, right? And have it. We love it. Like in our school days, at least some of us have done this, right? So that's what the child has done over here. The author has done. Now, what is the author trying to say? Some chapatis, she used to take it, okay, uh, for home for the village dogs. Well, when? When she used to take him to the school, go to uh, drop him to the school. Next. My grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple. She went to the school to drop me. Why? There was a reason. Because the school and the temple was attached. Okay. The priest taught me. Priest means what? Oh, we say Pandit Maharaj that. Okay. Taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer. While the children sat and rose on either sides of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in churus and my grandmother sat inside reading scriptures. Like kya hota na? For example, I would say you, uh, this is the space. Okay. So either side pe kya hota na? Temple pe sab um, grandmother used to pray and this side the children used to either side they used to what they used to repeat what the teacher is sitting for example a b c that way they used to do that work and what uh, the grandmother used to do the prayers Om Namah and all that she used to do that prayers okay now when we both when we had both finished we will walk back together means after the school she used to take the child with her only back this time the village dog would meet us at the temple door. They followed us to our home growling. Growling matlab wo aise alag gale se awas nikalte we say okay making a lot of uh, like guttural song in the throat. <laughs> I say and to eat it like um, just say dogs and all that they know the grandmother will be giving the food and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us means what they called us as well that was a turning point in our friendship whose friendship author and the grandmother although we shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me. I used to go to an English school in my motor bus. There were no dogs in the street and she took to feeding she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of a big house. Courtyard means like a balcony barande. Okay. As the years rolled by, we saw less of each other. For some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for school. When I came back, she would ask me what teacher had taught me so today we will be doing the chapter till here this would be the part one and the next video i'll continue with the chapter and i'll complete it
so make sure whatever we have done it you revise well so that you get feel you feel connected in my next video as well i'll just give you the takeaway for today's video what is the video the portrait of grandmother and the what is the situation right now the grandmother and child first used to uh, be together and they used to be very close they had a very deep friendship with each other and once their parents called them back to the city uh, their friendship got affected in that way why because the child started going to an english school now and he started going by himself in a motor bus first grandmother used to drop before coming to the city now what happened she started uh, feeding the sparrows as well in the balcony of the house itself because the house was quite spacious okay and uh, sometimes the grandmother used to wake up the child to go to the school and she used to you know a uh, little bit uh, ask something about the school as well but the friendship which the bond they both were sharing before uh, coming to the city was not like that so we'll continue the story from here to uh, whenever i come with my next video so till then stay tuned and if you have any queries and if you want that i should come up with this topic video first or if you have any other doubt any important topic you want me to come do let us know in the comment box and also today i have one more thing to tell you that if you're looking if you have a younger siblings and you're looking for your max doubts so do watch another max video which i'm uploading the video and uh, uploading the link in my description section do do it because it's from base and believe me you will love it so don't forget to subscribe the channel that as well till then take care bye bye